Greetings there, and welcome back once again to another video. By the title of this video, you guys can probably tell that I'm going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate. So let's go ahead and get started. So anyways, you guys can see that I already have Ubuntu Mate installed. So yes, I'm going to be taking a review of Ubuntu Mate 18.10, or Ubuntu 18.10 Mate, I guess you could say. Yeah, you know, say it whatever way you want, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this distribution in this video, so... First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the welcome screen. I actually closed down the welcome screen so you guys could see the welcome animation when you first uh, enter into Ubuntu Mate. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. And here's the welcome screen. You get that little animation. I actually missed the old animation. I think there, I think it's a different animation from the old one. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's actually a first time thing. I might it might have been the same one. Um, as the old Ubuntu Mate, the Ubuntu Mate uh, 17, or uh, I apologize, 18.04 might be a different animation, but I am not sure. But that's not the big, the big, uh, you know, important things in this video. So, yeah. Right here on the welcome screen, we basically just have a screen right here that says, Help improve Ubuntu Mate, and you basically can just send some information to Ubuntu Mate, which we'll go ahead and do that and be nice and do that. So, you can see, thank you, Your this data was you know, send it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, right here in the main menu, you have, um, you know, your basics. And, uh, you know, you have the open welcome when I log on, which uh, we're actually going to, we're going to disable that. And uh, I'm not going to take a big look at that. I will go ahead and open up the shop in just a second here. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and minimize that as of now. So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see on the desktop, we've got this, uh, this nice wallpaper. Uh, we've also got a top panel and a bottom panel. And as you guys can tell, we have the menu on the top like normal and just our sad, lonely Firefox uh, shortcut. And on the desktop, we also have our home directory and my passport. You know, it'll depend on your passport. Yours might not say Ryan's passport. Yours might say, uh, you know, Justin Bieber's passport. But anyways... Um, yep, right here we have our bottom panel, and on the bottom panel, you know, we just have there's the trash, which I'm going to go ahead and empty because, whoa, that sound was scary. Don't know if you guys heard that, but it was like a big loud noise. But anyways, yeah, I was just emptying that because uh, I had some uh, failed recordings in there, so we'll just go ahead and close that out. Um, yeah, you can see uh, we've got our workspace switcher, which I'm not a big fan of workspaces because I'm not a big user of them. I guess I could say I'm not a big user of workspaces. I'm more of a, you know, secondary monitor guy because um, I found that that's a lot more useful because I like having a bigger display at times. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and take a look at the welcome screen a little bit closer now. So, you know, we just got that. I guess I don't really need to look at that, actually. We'll go ahead and take a look at the software. Um, so, we'll go ahead and take a look at the software boutique. Um, is, is it the same as, uh, just going into that? Yeah, it's relatively the same, so we'll just go back and, uh, minimize that. So, in the software boutique, I really love the software boutique, um, the Ubuntu Mate one especially, because it is just so nice. It's got everything, you know, perfectly laid out. I just, I love the look of it, and, uh, you know, I've got Adobe Flash Player, Chromium, Office applications, you know, programming, which, you know, go ahead and download Meld if you want. I don't even know what that is. Sound and video, which uh, Cheese is in the here. I believe Caden Live. Yep, Caden Live is also in there. OBS Studio is in there. Uh, Simple Screen Recorder is also in there. Um, you know, VLC as well. Uh, system Tools, you know, you've got some of that. Um, that sort of stuff as well in um, Universal Access. In uh, Servers, you know. It's basically going to be your server stuff. Um, more software, you know, you can also uh, download the GNOME software, which we're not going to do, so just leave it like it is. And Synaptic Package Manager, which we're gonna not also not going to install. So that is enough looking at the uh, software boutique. So I believe shop. Shop, yeah, you can get in a Botumate shirt. So I guess that's enough look in the menu, in the welcome screen, because, you know, there's there's not much change in the welcome screen anyway. And I think I think this is one of those uh, popular distributions that I've actually never taken a look at before. So, I mean, I've actually used Ubuntu Mate a couple of times as my main Linux distribution, and I absolutely loved it. Um, it's really, it's especially good for old computers, I would say. Um, but, you know, it's, it's you, you don't have to worry. It's pretty good for newer computers, too. And look at that screen tearing, if you guys can see that. 
don't know if you guys can see that. There's some nice screen tearing right there. Um, here's our update, software updater, which will click remind me later and uh, not do it right now. We've got our little show desktop. You know, you can restore hidden windows or it can show desktop. So if I'm in this window, I can just click that and it'll show the desktop. Or I can click it again and it'll open up, open back up my application that I was using previously. Um, the next thing we'll take a look at is this menu. So this menu, I believe, what is this menu called? It's just called menus. So, uh, is that it? I believe it's just called menus. Or, no, it's called main menu. That's what it's called. I forgot. So, in the main menu, the main Monte menu, I guess we'll call it, um, you've got all, which, you know, you've got some additional drivers, and, you know, you guys can go ahead and take a look in at these things if you guys would like. There's a whole lot of applications that I don't want to go through. Favorites, um, accessories, which, uh, poor favorites, it's all by itself. Accessories, we've got that sort of stuff. You can pause the video and take a look at that. Um, administration, you know, your basic administration stuff. <laughs> um, education, which uh, has nothing in it. RIP. Um, graphics has that sort of stuff. I believe also if you installed GIMP uh, graphics, it will be in graphics. Uh, internet, you know, you've got stuff like Thunderbird Mail and uh, I believe yep, Firefox and Transmission. Office, you can look at that. It's got, you know, your LibreOffice stuff. Uh, preferences, you know, some more settings. You know, you got Mate, tw mate Tweak, however you want to pronounce it. Mate or Mate. You know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. <laughs> uh, sound and video. We've got, uh, you know, Simple Screen Recorder, which I just installed, and uh, all these other things came with it. Um, Bracero, I really love Bracero. It's really nice for making DVDs and... Uh, you know, bootable DVDs and CDs. Um, system tools, you know, your Mate terminal. Very nice. Um, I actually can uh, show you guys the terminal. So it, it uses um, your um, standard apt command. So um, sudo apt install Kden live. <laughs> Kden live. We can actually uh, do this right now because I. I don't have a Kden Live installed, so go ahead and install that in the background. Um, we'll go ahead and put our attention back on the menu. You know, I don't really need to uh, go through everything, even though I, I just did go through everything, except for uh, this stuff, which basically at the bottom you've got uh, exit and end the current session. You've got uh, lock the screen and turn off the device, which, uh, you know, you can shut down your computer if you want. Um, yep, we've got that installing. Um, up here on the top panel, yep, you've got your menu, and uh, Firefox just comes there by default. And I believe it's going to have their default Matei website. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, we'll just close that out. So right here we have a little, I believe that's the uh, uh, separator thing or lock panel thing. Yeah, lock to panel, I believe. Um, right here we've got Bluetooth. Right here we've got just simple screen recorder. That's optional. Right here we've got our internet connections, obviously blurred out. Um, right here we've got our batteries, um, you know, I've got my battery and my mouse battery. Right here we have audio, which shows VLC. We've got uh, power, which, you know, has logout, shutdown, um, that sort of stuff about this computer, settings and stuff, you know. Name of the computer, which mine is Ryan Dell. Um, then the RAM, and, uh, yep, this sort of stuff. It's It's very nice, actually. I really like... I, especially the system monitor. I, I love the uh, Linux system monitor. And right here you've also got your calendar, which I don't need to take a big look at. So you can just take a little glimpse of that and uh, we'll go ahead and exit that. Um, let's go ahead and turn our attention to the um, to the directories, to the, uh, the file manager. So in the file manager we have our username, you know, our account. And uh, we've got tech, tech bismo, documents, or desktop, File system, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, trash, and, uh, you know, my uh, that's my Linux Mint drive and my Ryan's passport. Um, then we've got our network uh, drives, which I believe I actually have um, a hard drive connected to um, the our router, which I'd be able to access through that. Um, at the top, um, you know, it'll show what directory you're in, as you guys can see. So if I click desktop, it'll show desktop and file systems. It'll show the slash. Um and, you know, you've got file, edit, view, go, bookmarks, and help. I'll go ahead and just show you guys slowly so you guys can read that to yourselves. 
go bookmarks and help. And I apologize if you're hearing my rats in the background. Um, I think they're, uh, yeah, they're like chewing on their cage or something. Anyways, you know, you've got your classic stuff right here. You've got file system. You can see I have currently opened. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and take a look at our, uh, I guess, Mate uh, settings, you know, like the Mate customization settings. So, um, let me see. Yeah, we can go to the uh, control center. So in the control center, we have, you know, you can go ahead and read that to yourself as well. Um, you know, you've got it. You can do it individually or you can just scroll down and view everything. So administration, hardware, internet and network, um, look and feel and personal. So I could go to about me and uh, pick a picture of coffee if I want. So <laughs> there's my picture of coffee. I believe it'll show up here now. It should. Eh, I'm not going to waste my time looking in that. Um, yeah, and hardware, uh, you've got stuff like displays and mouse and, you know, discs, Bluetooth, Bluetooth that sort of stuff. Um, internet and network, you have, oh wait, I need to go up here. Administration, you have stuff like printers, software and updates, and, you know, your classic startup disk creator by Ubuntu, and uh, your software boutique, and welcome screen, of course. Um, hardware, you know, I already talked about that, so no need to look at that again. Internet and network, we have firewall, network connections, and, you know, that sort of stuff. Look and feel, we've got stuff like appearance settings. Um, personal, you know, this is just going to show you about my computer and about me and that sort of stuff, and file management settings, that sort of stuff. Mate tweak, I believe you can, uh, this is where you can change your themes. No, maybe not. I think, uh, I think appearance is actually where you do it. Yeah, I think appearance is. Yep, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do Numix, my Numix GTK theme. So sudo apt install Numix GTK theme. Hopefully I don't have to add it to the repositories. I probably should. I probably don't have to because it's a boot to 18.10. And I probably typed that in wrong. That was embarrassing. I typed my password in wrong. Anyways, um, yep, there we go. Numix GTK theme should be installed now. Now let's do a uh, Numix icon theme. We'll, we'll do circle. We'll do circle. Please don't get mad at me, guys. I'm, I'm still obsessed with the Numix icon and Numix GTK theming. <laughs> so uh, you can see the progress. Is, this is actually going relatively fast. Did Arcade and Live finish? And yes, it did. So we'll close that out. And that is finished, so uh, I'll go ahead and exit that and reopen it. And uh, yep, here we have Numix. <clears throat> wow, that looks extremely nice, except for that up there, which I believe to fix that, I just got to go to uh, our icon settings. Yep, icons and Numix circle. There we go. There we go. That's a lot nicer. I actually am uh, planning to switch over to this distribution after this video, so yeah. This is actually only on a 16 gigabyte partition, so I'll have to reinstall or just resize my partitions, of course. Um, let's, uh, let's change our background to uh, this one. It's it's no different, it's, except it just has the, uh, the branding and that sort of stuff. Um, I think that's actually pretty much it, guys. I think that's... Uh, that's all I can show you in this video because I'm kind of in a hurry, as you guys can probably tell. But hopefully, hopefully I was I didn't go too fast for you guys. But I'm sure you guys could tell that I was going a little bit fast. Anyways, that is pretty much it. If I realize that I have forgotten um, some things, you know, like some other settings and uh, things to take a look at. Uh, in Ubuntu Mate, then uh, I surely will make a separate video, like I will be with that Ubuntu 18.10 review. Um, I forgot to take a look at the software, um, the software manager, so I have to take a look at that in a few days to, uh, you know, act as a part two. As if you if you guys saw, it was called Ubuntu 18.10 review part one. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys very very much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, be sure to let me know what you guys think.